Your skies. We do. There's morning. something cool happening outside I mean, right yeah. now. Two cool things happening right now. We've got a, uh, a full moon and we've got a meteor shower. Uh, let's talk about this, guys. If you got a minute, let's talk about the meteor shower. Actually, I'm going to start by talking about a comet that is producing our meteor shower. Ultimately, it's the trail of dusty debris left behind a comet that produces all of our annual meteor showers. So here you have your inner solar system. You've got Mercury, you've got Venus, and you've got our, our good old third rock from the sun, Mother Earth right there. And as all these planets orbit around the sun, ultimately they, they come back to the same place year after year after year. And when you have something in that orbit, like a trail of dusty debris left over from a comet, then you get meteor showers. That's exactly what's happening with our Perseid meteor shower. And this trail of dusty debris is coming from the comet Swift Tuttle, which is also orbiting the sun. It just takes Swift Tuttle about 133 years or so to make one orbit. The last time we saw it in the owner in our solar system was back in 1992. So it left behind this trail of dusty debris. And as the Earth moves into that trail of dusty debris, those dust particles, when they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they start to burn up. And that gives us our shooting stars that we see across the sky as we head toward the peak of the Perseid meteor shower, which actually peaks on Saturday. But leading up to it, we should be able to see some of those shooting stars. Now, the radiant point is actually coming from the constellation Perseus, and that's why it has the name the Perseid meteor shower. So as the constellation Perseus rises in that northeastern sky, usually after midnight, you should start to see more of these shooting stars. Now, the peak again leading up to August 13th, the best time to see it typically is between midnight and dawn before some of that early morning light starts to show up. However, this year we've got this pesky full or near full moon that's been polluting our sky from seeing a lot of these shooting stars. So this year, maybe between 25 to 50 meteors an hour in those most ideal conditions. However, because of that, that bright moon that is out there when there's not clouds, um, you're not going to see as many, but obviously right now probably not going to be able to see many as well. 